Hiya, I've had a request from one of my channel members on how to fix this error message that we've got in front of us. This is the error message of her machine or his machine and uh, it's basically uh, the kernel underscore data underscore in page underscore error and you can actually see the stop error message which is the 07A and uh, we've also got the win32k.sys file uh, problem there. So what I'll I mean, what um, Microsoft is saying, it's basically uh, caused by a bad block, a bad block sector in the paging file, or they're saying it could be a virus, or they're saying it could be a disk controller error, or it could be failing RAM. Now, that's covering virtually everything, really. So, I mean, they're also it's to do with memory, to do with the graphics memory as well. So, what I'd suggest you do is do a few tests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the procedure to go along and test everything in, sort of not in this order, but you need to do all these tests, okay, to make sure that everything's fixed. Now the first one, I know you've done a lot of these already. Go to start run, type CMD in there, okay. And the first one you need to do is go check disk, um, check disk like so, and then forward slash F and then forward slash R, right. And once you've done that, push Enter like so and it will ask you to do it just say yes and when you reboot a PC you will get prompted to do a disk check okay if it doesn't work then you need to go into recovery console and do a check disk space R okay right so once we've done that um, once you've done that what I'd suggest you do is let's get this picture out of the way what I suggest you do is come to your virtual memory settings, okay, go right click on your My Computer, Properties, and then go Advanced, then Performance Settings, then Advanced again, and you want to come down to this virtual memory, okay, click on Change. Now, mine's custom, so don't worry about what mine is. You're looking at the C drive there, make sure it's on Windows C at the top, and what I want you to do is stick it no paging file okay set that click on the set button and then click OK and then reboot the machine okay once you've rebooted the machine do the same thing come back into here once you've rebooted come back in and then straight into there again okay I'm not going to reboot because it'll take too long click in change and then put system manage size and then click on the set okay and then click OK now that should uh, sort out the paging file errors if you've got any paging file errors, okay? That may fix your problem. Right, the next thing I want you to try is go to My Computer, C Drive, Windows, and then System32, okay? Now what I want you to do is come down, for the, look for the W's at the bottom, okay? And look for um, win 32 k.syst that wasn't bad I found that straight away that was pretty impressive <laughs> okay so you look for this file and um, if you don't see the dot syst on the end what you need to do is go tools folder options go view show hidden files and folders and take the tick out of hide extensions for known file types okay you'll probably have this take this out apply on OK okay and then you should see the dot sys. What I need you to do is right click and rename this to dot old. Like so. And then basically reboot the PC. Okay. Reboot the PC and it will actually give you a new file. If you want to come back in, have a look and make sure it's give you a new file. Okay. And uh, don't delete this old one, but just see whether that uh, rectifies your problem. Okay, now I'm going to put this back because there's nothing wrong with mine, so I don't want nothing to, to be changing mine. So that's what you need to do for that. Right, now on to software testing or hardware testing. What we need to do here is start to test some of the hardware. Now the first thing you need to do is test your memory. So you want to come to this site here, uh, memtest.org, okay? And then you can actually come down and uh, delete, uh, not delete, sorry. Um, download this ISO image, okay, bootable ISO, ISO image, burn this to a CD and boot to the CD, okay, and this is what you're going to be faced with. You need to run this test for at least two passes, okay, until you see two passes. 
of the memory and then see if you get any error messages. If you're not getting any error messages, the, the RAM's fine, okay? It's no good swapping memory over with one and then two. You need to scan it and make sure there's no errors on it, okay? So that's, that's that one out of the way. Once you've done that, we can then start to say that's fine. Now, disk controllers and stuff like that, what well, I'd suggest you is check your cabling, but the first thing to do is check the hard drive. And uh, it's a long shot, but it's worth a try. And while you're at it, just come to Western Digital. If you've got a Western Digital drive, then come to Western Digital and vice versa. If you've got like a, a Seagate, come to Seagate and so on. So Western Digital, pick your drive that you've got, okay? And then basically, say you've got this drive, you click on there, and it will give you the data lifeguard diagnostics for floppy CD or for Windows, okay? Try and get it to a CD and burn it to a CD, okay? And run this and to see whether you've got any problems with your drive, okay? Now, obviously, if you wanted to use Seagate, Seagates have got diagnostic tools as well, and also Atachi have, and all the, all the other magic manufacturers have got it as well, okay? So what I would do is, this is the Atachi one, you can actually download theirs, they've all got them, so download them, burn them to a disk, and test your hard drive. You can see videos on all this on my channel, I've got tons of videos all about uh, scanning hard drives and stuff, okay? So the next thing I would su suggest you do is chest, uh, test your CPU, I don't know what I've got my false teeth in today, so you need to test your CPU, okay? And a good program to do that is Prime95. Okay, you want to push the download this from a software uh, Softpedia. I'll put these links up anyway. Okay, so don't try and write these down. I'll I'll put the links in my channel on the description there. Download this and run this for a couple of hours or an hour. Don't run it with your memory and all that sort of testing when it's doing that because it's gonna do do too much um, too much for you. So just do one at a time, okay, and tick them off as you've done them. And then run this and make sure this is okay, your CPU is running fine. Okay, now if you don't get no problems, no errors, then you know the CPU is fine, okay? Say an hour, give it an hour and see if there's anything wrong, okay? And then after that, what I suggest you do is test your graphics card. Now if you've got onboard graphics, it could be to do with onboard graphics that's playing up. What I suggest you do is uh, test your graphics first, but also you could go and buy a card, a cheat card, stick it in the machine if, you're, if you've got onboard graphics, and that may solve your problem because it may be to do with the actual graphics memory. Okay, so what you need to do is download this program called Fermark. Okay, it's a bit of a beast to run, so you know, don't do you don't have to do the maximum one, you know, just download the, the bit of software that you need. And just run it for a while just to see whether it bombs out or gives you a blue screen. If it does, you know it's to do with the graphics, okay? So what I suggest you do is download this, give that a blast. And hopefully, after testing all that sort of stuff, you will know what is causing it. Okay, because we've changed the file and we've changed, uh, scanned the memory, scanned the graphics card. The only thing that's left is a motherboard. And, it, and if everything you've done everything and it's still playing up, it could be motherboard. But very much... That I think you'll find out by then. Okay, now you can get at this tool here called ultimatebootcd.com and download this. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's got a lot of tools on there. It's got tools for uh, memory testing and for hard hard drive testing. So if you want to just download this and burn this to your disk, you can do. Okay. So anyway, I hope this sorts your problem out. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe to my channel and show your support. Any questions, leave a comment there and I'll do my best to answer them for you. And uh, it may take me a day or two to get to answer it, but I will get a chance to answer them and I will do. If you've got a request for videos, please post me a mail or something like that and I'll uh, do my best to make that video for you as long as it's uh, computer related. Okay. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.